all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert my name is john and if you're new to this channel welcome i know we've been doing a lot of the land in a morning light new region stuff and it's just mostly the story and all the other stuff so if this is the first time you've ever watched my video welcome to your channel usually we do a lot of other stuff as well but uh yeah this month has been pretty busy a lot of game expansions and everything so we're just gonna have a chill day and uh do some chores that i had to do in bdo and just give you guys a small update on what's happening throughout the month in game and everything so yeah first of all as you guys know uh the new region came out and hopefully you guys have enjoyed the mini series that we've been doing on the channel so you could watch an entire story some mini guides on how to get like the new items and everything some bosses as well yeah so things we've done this month is one we got the new dawn's gloves or is it dan or dawn i actually don't know how it's pronounced properly and right now it's a duo if you guys want to watch that video on me enhancing it and getting it that was a fun one it got like over seven thousand views and it was like whew. hopefully all of you guys have some better days enhancing and two you guys know we've been saving up for the past few months we actually were was able to get a pen disto earring and we actually got it for about 173 billion which is kind of honestly more than i really wanted to pay for it i would uh prefer to have paid like 160 and below but uh if we look at the distortion prices these days it's kind of nuts it's actually going up so like ideally i wanted to pay like minimum but there were actually orders ahead of me so 173 not bad and we had to like uh sell um or not sell but like convert the cup thingy over and yeah so one thing here's a few things that are coming up in the future so now that we have a first pen dawn and a tet one here's what we've been saving we still have our tet disc though we never sold it to buy it so what does that mean we're gonna be saving up enough crons to pen attempt it at some point whenever i get enough i don't know when that'll be and um yeah so we'll be doing a pen disto click at some point and that's actually really scary because the disto itself is like 25 billion and then it's about like 7500 crons which is at least 10 bill if you buy costumes i think and so plus the base is like it's a 31 billion silver click and you know with my luck in this game if you guys have ever seen me enhance all i'm hoping for is that it just doesn't downgrade <laughs> so yeah that's like my experience hopefully hoping for the best on that one but we still have to buy some costumes and uh yeah whenever those sell i i don't spend any money like real money on it i just try to buy it off the market so whenever that happens it happens we're just going to keep that for uh when that does so that's awesome and um yeah one other th few things we got to do in terms of like chores in this game are yeah i gotta go turn yeah, actually i'll do that later uh first of all let's go do some bosses and we got some scrolls to do so for all of you who have not done this yet you just basically stay logged in the shimmering blue jades and the thing you want is the rare morning light box well you get everything but eventually get everything and then uh the morning light box is just a bunch of goodies so definitely get that when you can so for all of you guys who have done everything so far how are you liking the new region i i actually made a video on the new region as in like a full review if you guys want to watch that it's on the channel and hopefully you guys will uh if you guys haven't started it yet i don't know if is it is it out on console already but if you want to know what it's all about my thoughts and opinions on it after playing through the entire thing um so i basically beat the story it's 11 parts on youtube there's a playlist and we still have to do some of the adventure journals and i believe it's this so basically um right now on na and eu i think the third thingy in here is bugged so it's going to be fixed on the next patch right so once we do that we get more stats and then we do book number nine and then that'll be cool but yeah the first all these boxes you know the 
uh, Dobeki chests or something. My god, those take so long to do. And, like, I would recommend watching a guide or reading a guide video Ooh. before trying to attempt that because, like, there's a lot of back and forth. And one thing is just it takes a really long time. I think it took me about, like, five and a half hours to do all five books. And then, then we have to do a book, like, uh, six, seven, and eight, nine when that comes out next week. But yeah, now that we got some huge goals, we're actually um, a little bit closer to a 740 year score, which is kind of nuts. I never thought I'd reach that number in my career. So our gloves are at duo. Obviously, our goal is to get it to Tet. And I guess whenever we get more crons, that just happens when it happens. And um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, just save up crons and then well one we're gonna be doing the pendisto click first that one's 7500 100 crons i think that's a little bit more exciting and then after that we just keep slamming for us or try and tet so that'll be a fun experience um what else so after that like 320 gear score or 320 AP 414 DP. A lot of people ask me when is the right time to get distos because, like, you know how it gives you negative DP. And I honestly, I think nowadays it's a little bit different. But in my opinion, the time you guys should convert over is at least when you're Capris 9, uh, full pen armor. So that way is like by that time you'll have at least like 350 DP, I believe. And that's generally good enough to grind most bots. And, um, like, obviously, if you get Tetch, you're losing literally 8 DP and 2 of them. What are these? Huh. But yeah, over time, I've just been... I went back to Histria because that's what we have to grind a lot. And I really would like to go back to get the compass. Luckily, Histria is not super populated. That means I can grind in peace for hours on end. And the only bad thing is just it's out in the middle of nowhere. So <laughs> it's like out in the middle of the desert. I think one day if I were to re-tag a new character, it would probably be Wusa because right now I use I use the Sage as a tag. Because it allows me to get into, like, Aachman and Histria for free. And so, that's one thing. But then, even after we get the Elton, we're still going to have to grind Aachman, which I heard wasn't that bad because there's only one piece, obviously. So you get it when you get it. Plus, the elite mobs that drop it aren't uh, wild. So, yeah, I heard Aachman was pretty easy. Elton, obviously, probably one of the hardest of all, like, relic items or whatever they're called. Uh, I think we should stop by the Kama Temple to do the fairy rules real quick. Uh, nope, no, uh... No mythical feathers today. Unlucky. But we did make, um, eh, probably like 20 mil out of that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go do this rift boss. But yeah, make sure for all of you who are, uh, just now coming back to the game and or looking to get the gloves. I would recommend extracting Capris out of your gloves until C10, assuming you have like a C20, because getting the gloves is pretty easy, and um, the like realistically you aren't losing too many or too much DP or stat points 
So while the event is going to extract your Capris to C10 for one silver each, um, make sure to do that. Uh, otherwise, once the event ends, you're just going to be lighting billions of silver away. And that billions of silver can be used to actually buy the materials for the gloves. So definitely just do it now. Just trust me on that. And yeah. Everything's all interesting. What else is there? I hate how at the end game, everything is just reliant on Krons. And I'm kind of glad I play on NA where I can actually get costumes. But at the same time, it's not like when everyone thinks of NA and like buying costumes, people think we could just buy them like infinitely. And no, I get like maybe one every two weeks or something like yeah that may be more than others but it's not like i just i'm not printing cron stones basically also with the new crystals i actually want to talk about those and a little bit as well this and then we'll talk about everything i think in the near future i'm gonna do another like character or account review of my uh build and everything so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that maybe very specialized for things i do but i think it'll be cool to uh listen to at least so yeah big crystals coming or the new crystals that came out are Obviously, these things that you get for just doing the boss splits. And yeah, like it's probably going to be a while until people actually get these. And this is these are actually interesting because this is the PVE one, right? And it gives you 10% item drop rate. That's huge, actually. And then this one's only 5%, but it gives like a lot of offensive damage stats. Whereas the purple one is defensive stats. So it was really hard for me. Like eventually I do want all three of them, but... You're not going to see them up until the price hard maxes and people actually get them because uh, I don't think people are seeing these until you can do boss rush like eight and up, which is kind of wild. So if I could get one, um, here's how you do get it early on. So you get there's like three different tiers. Also, there's new like, you know, whom uh, Gervish and Makalods. You could turn them into ultimate ones. And they just give a little bit more stats than these. So if you like look at the the two and four piece are the same, but the effect of each individual crystal is different. So the Han ones, which is what most people use right now, gives two accuracy, one resistance, 30 health. And it's like two, three, five, 75 and one. So that's huge, actually. So as a newer player or mid tier player, if you're using Hooms, try to get these. Um, I believe you can actually make them yourself pretty easily just by uh, doing questing and everything. So let me actually show you how you can go about doing it. So in the new region, you probably are going to get a lot of these coins, right? And so what you're going to want to do is obviously use these coins to turn it into, um, like the chest thingy, and then you'll get the crystal of harmony. And then basically you use the Crystal of Harmony with your Hoom or other like Makalot or something. And then you turn it into the ultimate one. That's what it does. And they also have a lot of things for life skillers as well. Big crystals. These are very expensive, actually. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. So, you know what makes these really expensive and wild? These give straight mastery. And you know what the best thing is? There's no limit on how many you can use. So if all you do is gather, that gathering thing just goes up by like at least a few hundred, which is very expensive. Like if you actually think about it and you can have unlimited or there's no limit on them. Let's take a look at it actually. So right now I have just one of each right now. So you could have three, six, nine or nine ten fourteen fifteen sixteen you get these two bottom slots by just doing the quest line that's 160 extra mastery that's wild 
and you know what like mastery all this does like look at the difference 65 to 90 that's 25 and the difference is like 30 billion so yeah being able to get life skill crystals for whatever you do is kind of insane Yeah, so I want to do a video on like what I think are the best crystals to use nowadays. But there's a few new offensive ones that people don't really talk about. There's a darkness one. I see people using these a lot in the boss splits because back attack damage is nuts in some of them. And then I think there's another one, but where where is it? It's definitely pretty expensive. Oh yeah, the Decimation Crystal for back attack and AP against monsters. I think that one might be interesting. In terms of defensive crystals, there's a Crystal Frozen Bitterness. And I can actually... All I need is one of those uh, crystals to make it. The Magic Crystal of Infinity Armor. Because I got the like thing from a boss blitz and I could just craft it. I think this one is pretty good for uh, defensive players or just having an, having an extra one temporarily and so you can use two of these in there i believe there's another crystal somewhere that the heck that could be it i don't know and then all of these are life skill ones for everything if you can get these definitely pick them up and then obviously for the big crystals what you want are these <clears throat> you get uh, tier 1s and stuff from here, just from defeating the bosses, right? Then you need three of them to be able to upgrade to one of these. And then you need three of these to upgrade to the big ones. So, very expensive. You'll get it eventually. At I hope these crystals actually have a high cap. Like, in terms of the value, I hope these crystals actually go up to like 10, 15 billion. Because that'll make people actually want to sell them instead of you having to craft them yourself. I could put orders on them. Maybe it'll go, maybe it won't, who knows. Uh, not the main one, but like the smaller ones and just make it myself. But yeah, that's a pretty big update in terms of like gear and stuff. So I wanna do another video on, yeah, like as I talked about before, my skill add-ons that I changed for boss blitzing and stuff. Um, gear that I would recommend, light stones, artifacts, and all the goodies. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you guys again tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you come back. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys later.